This is $300 of survival gear, and this is $300,000 of survival gear. Wow! Today, my brother and I, we're gonna be surviving here at this lake. One of us gets the epic $300,000 houseboat and everything it comes with, while the other person gets the stupid, poopy doopy, useless $300. How's that fair? And it's all gonna be chosen by the flip of a coin. I don't like this. You flip it. Me? Yes. We never do this. I know. Strategy. Okay, Chris, this coin, this very coin decides our fate. I'm scared. Two options. Two guys. One possibility. I don't like these moments. Flip it. No, I'll no. call it in there. <laughs> ah! That's... Oh, no. Oh. No. No! Yes! Are you kidding me, dude? Yes. Dude, heck yeah, bro. I win! Well, not the whole video, just the houseboat. You can still win. Let's go see what gear we got. This is gonna be fun. Isn't that right, Jeff? Dude, even the way you're walking is mopey, bro. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. This is where we part ways. Have fun. Yes, I get the houseboat. Jeff and I will be using our supplies to complete five different challenges. Each challenge completed earns you a survival point. And whoever has the most points tomorrow morning will win the game. This is your captain speaking. So since I don't have to set up my shelter, I figured that I would just give you guys a tour. Let's go. This is my couch. This is my kitchen table. This is my kitchen. I don't know why I'm on the floor like this. It's got a fridge freezer, we got a stove top, coffee maker, microwave, blender, toaster. I have one drawer of silverware. I also have two drawers of silverware. And if I wanna watch Danger Bros, a TV. Put hashtag Mopey Jeffrey in the comment section. <laughs> this is bedroom one. Follow me down here to bedroom two. Yeah, this one has two beds. Nice. And for if I get real sleepy, bedroom number three. I wonder if Jeff has his shelter up yet. So yes, it's a little bit disappointing that I get this gear, but it's okay guys. Chris and I have to complete the same challenges. If we both tie and get all of the survival points, I win by default because I have the low budgets. First of all, we just need to kind of sort through our gear. Got a tent. I have a fire starter kit, this little bow drill, some knives survival axe. I've got a couple other things, but realistically, I have everything I need to survive this challenge. So I just gotta set up my tent to get the survival point. So let's get that set up. This tent came with these garbage stakes. They're gonna do me no good. So I found a bunch of rocks, got some extra rope. I'm gonna tie everything in with these rocks so then the tent is sturdy. So let's get to it. It's hot. Even though setting up a tent is simple, the hard part is going to be surviving the night in this dinky thing. And my sleeping bag kind of sucks. This may be the most difficult challenge. So it's not much, but it's all I'm going to need to survive the night. And technically, I'm still tied with Chris, so I don't need I don't need no houseboat, pampered princess boat. Well, I heard you're finally ready to do the other challenge. Bring it on. It's about time. I don't have a watch. This is the race across the lake challenge. There are two survival crates across the lake, plus a bonus one for whoever gets over there first. If you can make it across the lake, you get a point. Let the best man win. The best man or the best boat? I better get going so I can get this. Okay. I gotta be quick. I don't know how this is a fair challenge. Go! Oh, jeez. All right, we got the speed. It's okay. It's gonna take Jeff a long time to cross. I think we're chilling. Start her up. All right, and we're off. This is really fun. You know, the thing about technology is I don't have to put any physical exertion to get across the lake, but Jeffrey does. Okay, one of my problems, it's very windy. Ah. <laughs> Making some progress. Ugh. Oh, my shoulders are already burning. Ugh. 
I don't see Chris yet though. He's not here yet. <laughs> I see Jeffrey kind of struggling in the lake. That is real funny. Hey Jeffrey, you struggling, bro? Oh no, guys. He's coming. Hope you enjoy this wake, bro. Oh no. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to win, guys. Oh, shit, the waves are coming at me. Oh, these are huge. Woo! Guys, this wake was huge. <laughs> bye bye, Debris. All right, we got plenty of time. We're, we are way in the lead. And I uh, gave Jeffrey a couple of waves to just have some fun with. And we have a touchdown. Uh -huh. Look at that. I'll take that. Bonus. And that's Jeffrey's. This one's mine. Supply crate has been achieved. Let's just go see how little Jeffrey's doing. Hey there, Jeff. Yeah, I uh, got the boxes, so yours is still over there, though. No, nope, but you did lose uh, whatever is in this box. So I totally made it back here before Jeff even made it across. That's hilarious. Okay, that is set. Survival is easy. Guys, I'm almost there. Land ho! All right, you made it. Ah. Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. All right, here's our little crate. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, I got some string lights on my camp all nice, a switch, a Nintendo Switch that fell down that crack, a Jackery, so I've got power, some books on fishing. And yeah, a couple things to do. That's honestly not bad. It's gonna make uh, my, my campsite a little bit nicer, but again, still tied with Chris. So that's all that matters. All right, let's get back to the other side. Okay, let's do a little unboxing and see what's inside these puppies. All right. Ooh, dude. <laughs> it's a PS5. I'm for sure gonna have fun with that. All right, let's see what the bonus is and what all that hectic racing was all about. It's a hot spot. Dude. <laughs> dude, I'm gonna play some Fortnite tonight, dude. Heck yeah, bro. There we go. Guys, Chris just got back to the beach and he's flossing in celebration. This is absolutely rude. This is absolutely just rude, dude. <laughs> what a jerk. Can't believe this kid, dude. Well, 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 what do we have here? A little nub in a boat. Well, technically we're still tied. That's true. You've got nothing on me, bro. Nothing on me. You and your princess castle over there. So you think you can catch a fish, huh? Oh, I think I can catch a fish. I don't think you can. Not with your tools. Let me see about that. I'm gonna go catch a fish. If you couldn't figure it out, our next challenge is we have to catch a fish, so. Included with my houseboat is a fishing pole and a tackle box. This puts me at a big advantage over Mopey Jeff. Hey Jeff. Where are you going? I set up my fishing pole already and so I'm gonna head over to the rocks over there. The rocks that I said I wanted to go to? Yeah, I'm just gonna be catching your fish. That'll mess you up. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have zero fishing supplies so I'm gonna have to get creative and build something from scratch. We don't catch anything tonight. We don't get to eat. So, the first cast. Um, the cast before my hopes and dreams fade away. Okay, there goes my uh, anchovy. Hey, 
pan that's right over the rock. Dude, <sighs> nothing. I searched beaches, coves, marshes, and cliffside. I searched everywhere I could, hoping that something might happen. Literally nothing happened. I walked the beach for hours, okay? Nothing, not a single fish. I have no idea where they were, no fish. But one thing I'm counting on is that maybe Chris didn't catch anything. So I'm gonna go ask him how he did with his fish. What do you want? Did you catch anything? No. Heck yes, didn't me neither. Well, I guess we're tied. We're tied. Our next task is to create fire. So I'm guessing it's gonna be quite easy for you. For me, I have a bow drill. So I've never done a bow drill before, but how hard could it be really? Let, you know, how really how hard could that be? And oh, okay, that does have some instructions, which is really nice. Okay, I think I figured it out. Next challenge, create fire. So I, I, do, I, do, I, do, I just realized that I do have quite a predicament. That's an electric stove. <laughs> I was hoping that I could make fire really easily with my stove. I knew this would come in handy. Fire starters. And I'm gonna have to go out and start a fire the manly way. Okay. Okay, here we go. I can tell that this is gonna be tiring already. Oh, I smell smoke! Keep going, baby! Okay. Maybe, maybe we did it. Did we do it? What the? It was smoking. Didn't catch. Dude, that's rough. Let's try that again, huh? What the heck? This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Come on. Get it. I get it smoking, but then it just pooters out. I don't get it. Okay. Okay, that's beautiful. All right, here we go. This kindling I found on the beach isn't lighting, so I might be doing this wrong. Why is this not working? Oh, I'm not much of a survivalist, I think. After the kindling didn't light, I tried creating some wood chippings. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. I think technology has made humanity weak, but the only way to get good at anything is by getting out there and just trying to figure it out. Frick it. Oh my gosh. We have fire. Heck bro, why is it so hard? Push harder and drill faster? How's that possible? <laughs> this doesn't work, man. I've been doing this for like an hour and a half and I literally cannot get this thing to go. Well, Chris got his fire going. This sucks. How's it going? It's not going very well. I'm sorry to hear that, Jeff. Dude, that thing is so hard. I've been doing it for an hour and a half, bro. I think you just need some encouragement. You know, you've done a lot of really cool things lately and I think you're very capable. So look at my fire, visualize it, and make it happen. Okay. Oh, that was easy. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've burned through all the notches except one. So to me, it seems like we have one more go. <sighs> wow, today was successful. Completed every single challenge except for catch a fish and survive the night. So it's about to survive the night right now. 
Oh, and if Jeff actually manages to start a fire tonight, then that's not looking good for me. So, a lot of stuff could happen. See you guys in the morning. Come on! Go! Good morning. Let's go see who won this challenge. In order for Jeffrey to win, he needs to have started a fire and also slept in his tent. Oh. Hey, Jeffrey. How'd you sleep, mopey Jeff? What the? Dude, he didn't even set up his sleeping bag. <laughs> Did he sneak onto the houseboat? <laughs> Jeffrey, what in the world do you think you're doing? You're just in here playing Switch? Yeah. What happened last night? Well, I couldn't start a fire and I wasn't gonna win anyway, so I was about to be freezing my butt off. Duh, this crap. That makes sense. Well, I win, so put her there. Good job, Chris. It was so hard. You fought so valiantly. So much pain and suffering and effort for you to win, yeah. You're just, you're just a little mopey, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys.